What's going on everyone? Just wanted to jump on here and make a quick video um, about four cards that I have sold previously uh, previously in the past month or two and that I kind of regret letting go. Might have let them go a little bit too soon. You know, they always say hindsight's twenty twenty, and looking back on this, I am kind of wish I would have just held on to them, but hey, you never have a crystal ball, so how do you really know? Anyway, just having a little coffee out of my Louisville Slugger mug. It's my favorite coffee mug. If you've never been to the Louisville Slugger factory and museum, I highly suggest it. It's a really cool place, especially if you love the smell of wood. All right, so let's take a look at some of the cards here. The first one is a 1991 score Chipper Jones rookie. And I had sold it in the PSA 10 version. And I sold it a couple weeks before this card really went up in value compared to what it had previously been doing, which was absolutely nothing. Um, you know, I did make, I, I think I made like five or ten dollars on the total sale overall. But, you know, these sales were, I, I was just like, oh, well, nothing's happened to these cards. And so. Let me just use some of that money to fund another purchase and I'll repurchase those cards later on, which I still could do because I, I do believe these types of cards will come down in value, maybe, but I also didn't know that they were also going to go up in value that much either, so who's to say what's really going to happen? One of the, the next one here is the 92 Bowman, Pedro Martinez. I sold the PSA 10 in this about a, oh, actually this one, I sold this one a little while back. And I sold it for around 60 bucks, which if you've been watching the current market, here is of uh, May 20, or May 18th of 2020. You know, this is well over $100 in a PSA 10. So that one, this was probably one of my biggest whoopsies. Um, if he comes down, I may do it. I still have quite a few players that are on my list that I would probably rather have purchased for that price, even at $50. Um, go after some different cards and just let that one be a raw variation that can stay in my collection. Uh, last year, I sold 2005 Justin Verlander in a PSA 10, and I sold it towards the end of the year whenever he was just, I mean, he was just, his rookie card was just blowing up. And I don't really regret selling it too much because this card is still, the you know, fairly new, relatively speaking to the other cards. And this raw variation of it is actually in really good shape. And it may actually get a nine or a 10 and so even the price that I paid for either one of them whenever I purchased the 10 and I purchased this one, I would still be making money if I was to do that. This was this would be more for just for the collection for the foreseeable future. Unless it gets a 10, then I guess I can always have room to do it again. And then number four, this one I let go last week. Okay, this is the 89 Bowman, King Griffey Jr. Rookie, and this is a really good, a really nice example of the raw variation of that card. The 10 that I had, if you watched um, my previous video, I kind of, I, I talked about it a little bit, but whenever I first got back into the hobby, I'd purchased this card in a 10, and I didn't think you know, hey, you should probably double check some of that stuff just to make sure that's the card that you want, that there's no underlying errors on it. But the problem that I had was there was a mark, a, uh, a very noticeable fade mark over the K on that card, which, you know, you have the red background, so, and it was the color of, you know, this gray uh, coloring here on the red, so very noticeable. And to me, I was like, well, that's not, you know, I guess it could get a 10. I don't know. I don't work at PSA. But 
to me, that's a pretty noticeable blemish. And even though I didn't pay that much for that card at the time, the value that it's reached, <clears throat> I didn't think it would, I should sell it for a top value as if it was a 10, you know, the 10 of 10s um, for that mark. So I did agree to a price that was lower than what an actual true gem mint tin, perfect condition. Everything looks perfect on the surfaces on both front and back. And so anyway, I picked up the rear or the uh, raw variation of that card. And my regret on this one is just not paying attention to the tin that I had already had because I would not have sold that one just because, you know, Griffey is one of my favorite players. So I would prefer to have that, his rookie card in a tin just for the full-time collection. So anyway, those are kind of my four uh, noticeable regrets. Regrets kind of loosely used. You know, I did use that money to buy other cards, so it's not like, you know, that I really missed out. But I guess the, the looking back at it, the hardest hit one will be the uh, Pedro Martinez. Anyway, uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, or anything, please leave it below. Let me know what you think about, you know, did you... Have you made any errors in selling cards recently in this uh, in this crazy time of baseball card collecting? So, anyway, guys, until next time, have a nice day.